Hello and welcome to this tutorial. My name is Rima Sozo for BlueFX.net and in this tutorial we will take an in-depth overview of different setups for maximizing After Effects performance. We will cover common setups as well as specific setups for After Effects CS4, CS5 and CS6. We will also configure After Effects to handle large amounts of RAM and take full advantage of many processors in a multiprocessor system. When using After Effects, there are things you need to take into consideration to achieve optimum performance. Make sure that your system has enough RAM. Optimum performance is achieved with computer systems with at least 2 GB of installed RAM per processor core. Try to keep the source footage files for your project on a fast local disk drive. Ideally, use separate fast local disk drives for source footage files and rendered output. A separate fast disk to assign the disk cache folder to is ideal. SSD drives work best with this function. Enable caching frames to disk for standard previews by selecting Enable Disk Cache Preference. We'll discuss this feature later in this tutorial. Before rendering, put all your source footage files on a fast local disk, not the one that you're rendering to. A good way to do this is with the Collect Files command. Select File and Collect Files. Set the zoom quality and color management quality to faster. Go to Edit, Preferences, Previews, and in Viewer Quality section, set both values to faster. Enable hardware acceleration of previews. This uses the GPU to assist in drawing previews to the screen. Choose Edit, Preferences, Display, and select Hardware Accelerate Composition, Layer and Footage Panels. Disable Pixel Aspect Ratio Correction by clicking the Toggle Pixel Aspect Ratio Correction button at the bottom of a composition, layer or footage panel. Apply memory intensive and processor intensive effects later. Rather than applying the same effect with the same settings to multiple layers, apply the effect to an adjustment layer. When the effect is applied to an adjustment layer, it is processed once on the composite of all the layers beneath it. Before rendering, you can press caps lock to prevent the screen from auto refreshing. This way your composition will render much faster. Also, before rendering, clear data stored in your RAM by choosing Edit, Purge, All. You can take full advantage of a multiprocessor system and render multiple frames simultaneously. Select Edit, Preferences, Memory and Multiprocessing and check Render Multiple Frames Simultaneously. By default, After Effects has multiprocessing turned off. In order for our system to run smoothly, we need to reserve RAM for applications. Increase this value to leave more RAM available for the operating system and for applications other than After Effects and the application with which it shares a memory pool. After Effects CS4 and CS5 share a memory pool with Premiere Pro and Core Adobe Media Encoder. After Effects CS6 shares a memory pool with Premiere Pro and Core, Adobe Media Encoder, but also Photoshop and Prelude. In this case, 2 GB is a fair setup for a total of 8 GB of RAM. We reserved RAM for other applications, but we also need to reserve CPUs for these applications. Again, from a total of 8 CPUs, I reserved 2 CPUs for other applications. It's very important to set these values correctly, Otherwise, background applications will end up fighting over the processors and RAM, greatly decreasing performance. Ok, so next, RAM allocation for background CPU. If you're working with digital cinema size frames, set this value to 3 GB. For high definition frames, set the value to 1.5 or 2 GB. And for standard definition, set it to 1GB. Actual CPUs that will be used 
doesn't refer to the total number of CPUs used for After Effects, just for the number of CPUs that will house their own background processes each. In After Effects CS4, you also need to check Prevent DLL Address Space Fragmentation for best results. So keep in mind that if you run applications other than those with which After Effects shares a memory pool, and you don't allocate adequate memory to other applications, performance can be greatly reduced when the operating system swaps RAM to the hard disk. Another great way to improve your performance is by activating media and disk cache in After Effects. Select Edit, Preferences, Media and Disk Cache and check Enable Disk Cache. The minimum amount of cache should be 2 GB, but it's recommended to set this value up to 12 GB of hard disk space. If possible, use a fast disk to assign the disk cache folder to, such as a SSD drive. However, in After Effects CS6, it's best to set the cache size to a bigger value. In fact, the bigger the better, but make sure you don't specify a value that is bigger than the size you have available on your disk. So, why such a large value? Well, in After Effects CS6, there is a new feature called Persistent Disk Cache. Persistent Disk Cache improves performance by retaining frames stored in the disk cache between sessions, saving rendering time as you work on a project or other projects that might use the same cached frames. Use cache work area in background to fill the disk cache for a composition's work area while continuing to work. This technique is useful when you do not expect to make changes to a downstream composition or pre-composition. This feature works with multiple compositions as well. Press Ctrl plus Enter to render a background composition into the disk cache. In the info panel, we will get updates on the background caching status. The blue line indicates that the composition has been rendered to the hard disk cache. Hit spacebar to fetch the render from the disk and put it into RAM. You can load as many compositions or work areas into the background renderer as you want. If you want to cancel, go to Composition, Cancel Work Area in the background. Caching of multiple compositions will be done in serial, one after the other. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. I hope you found the information useful and see you again soon.